In this tutorial, we will walk you through the most common tasks you will complete in Blackboard as an online learner at Professional Studies. Whether you are a new student or just wanting a sneak peek into the learning management system at SC, you can access a test course by navigating to the PS website, scrolling to the bottom of the homepage, and clicking Test Drive an Online Course. Follow the login instructions. Click on the link and enter the username and password listed and click Login. You are now looking at your Blackboard home screen. Here in the center is where your courses will be listed under My Courses. You will click on the course link to access assignments, syllabus, faculty information, and more. Now that we are inside a course, we will go through some of the common tasks you will perform as a student. The first task is viewing announcements. You will find this on the left side of the screen in the purple menu. This is where your instructor will post announcements regarding your class and assignments, so be sure to check it frequently. The second task is accessing faculty and general course information. This is found below the announcements on the purple menu. Once you click that link, you will have access to your instructor's information. While every course may look a little different, this is where you might find instructor contact information. This is also where you can access your course syllabus as well as the grading rubrics for your course. You will also want to check out your student resources. This can be found on the purple menu just below the faculty information link. Here, you can view our mission, vision, and college policies. You can also gain quick access to links for the Online Deets Library, Online Writing Center, Registrar's Office, and other resources provided to you as a professional studies learner. If you need some extra help, how-to videos are available for you to view. They can be found on the purple menu and can help you with anything from general navigation of Blackboard to submitting an assignment, which we will cover here in task five. On the purple menu to the left, you will see each unit of your course. In this sample course, there is one for each of the six weeks. Once you click on your unit, you can view the learning objectives, assignments and activities, due dates, recorded presentations or lectures by your instructor, your discussion board for that unit, and submitting your assignments. In order to submit your assignment for the unit, click on Assignment link. Here, you will be able to view information about your assignment, including the points it is worth and its requirements. If the assignment requires a short answer, you may use this Write Submission box. You may click that and begin typing in the text box. If a larger paper or PowerPoint presentation is required, you may also need to utilize the Attach Files box. If you have comments or questions you would like to include, you can do that in the comment box below. When you are done, you will simply click Submit in the purple box at the bottom of the page. And if you forget to include something in your assignment or need to resubmit it with corrections, you can just simply submit it again. Another task you will frequently perform is participating in your discussion board posts. Each unit will have its own discussion. You'll see a description of the topic at the top as well as what you are required to include in your discussion post. Once you've clicked on the link, you may click on the title under the heading Thread to participate in the discussion. Here, you will be able to see what others have posted and you can click on Reply to respond. You'll type your response in the text box. If you need to include extra documents or slides, you may do so in the attachment section at the bottom. Once you are finished, just click Submit in the purple box at the bottom of the page. To create your own post, you'll select Create Thread. You can type in a subject, then enter your post content in the text box. There is an option to attach documents if necessary, and click Submit at the bottom. And if you'd like to post a question of your own for your classmates to answer, you may click on the Class Question Board link on the purple menu. Just click on the link and then select Create Thread. You can create a subject and then type your question or issue in the text box below. There is an option to attach documents and then you will click Submit at the bottom of the screen when you are done. Your classmates will be able to respond to you here, much like a discussion board post. In order to receive notifications for updates or announcements from your instructor or questions being posted from classmates, you can go to the top of the screen and click on Notifications Dashboard. Here, you can manage your settings for notifications for specific types of announcements and posts. The last task we will cover is viewing your grades. 
This is also accessible on the purple menu to the left. Once you click the link, you will be able to see each assignment and discussion board post along with each grading rubric. Your grades for each can be found on the right side of the screen. We hope this helps as you contemplate whether to enroll in classes or as you begin your academic journey here at SC. Please contact us with more questions you may have. For more tutorial videos, visit our YouTube channel.